none of the games went the Dolphins' way. What is up, Finn fans? Unfortunately, the Dolphins had a miserable weekend. They had a miserable Thanksgiving, and then they d d well, delved into a miserable weekend because none of the games that the Dolphins needed to happen happened. Well, maybe one. I guess the Eagles beat and the Ravens kind of kept them close. This is bad. Now, again, I just want to reiterate, because you're going to probably look at this video, look at the title and go, <laughs> playoffs. Look at the playoffs. I know, man. I know. I said it after the Bills game. But there's still a chance. And there's still an opportunity. Anything could happen. So I'm going to talk about it. And I'm going to break it down for you. Because there's still a chance. So to the people who are already commenting, I don't know why. We're just going to go into the playoffs. And we're going to lose. And, and it's going to be a one and done. And da 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 Yeah. But I'm still going to talk about it. So we're going to jump into this. We're going to look at uh, predictions. And then we're also going to look at percentages. Because this percentage, if the Browns would have won, would have changed versus if the Broncos won, which they did. But real quick, I want to shout out today's sponsor. And that is Clean the World. If you know about Sean Seipler, he is in my vlogs when I go on trips because I meet up with him down in Miami. He's a very, 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 very awesome organization called clean the world on top of two other organizations that are fantastic that help people of need whether it's third war countries natural disasters the homeless he gets some hygiene kits that have soap toothpaste shampoo socks in them you can also put these together go check out the site cleantheworld.org you can help people he gets shower kits he gets backpacks for kids that need them Great human being, great individual, good friend of mine. Go check it out, cleantheworld.org, linked below. So, we are going to look at this Mamma Jam, <clears throat> and we're going to look at this Mamma Jam. My big fat head. Let me minimize that a little bit. So, this is where the playoff standings are right now. You got two, one, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. The Chargers have moved up. They were six. They moved up again because... The Baltimore Ravens lost, moving them down. The Dolphins are sitting here because the Colts won. Because, again, we'll look at it real quick. <clears throat> we couldn't take care of business. We had no shot taking care of business. Falcons, Chargers, a closer game than I thought it would be, couldn't take care of business because, of course, Kirk Cousins loves to throw interceptions. He got this game, missed a long field goal, went for two, couldn't take care of business, and then, obviously, last night, couldn't take care of business it was close but again interceptions but this is what happens when you rely on other teams to do things you should have done in the first place so we're going to look at kind of how the miami dolphins can get into the playoffs how certain teams winning or losing helps the percentage of the dolphins getting into the playoffs and i don't want to hear it right now right now we're just gonna have some fun that's what we're having right now my eyes are closed we're having fun i'm not talking i know we're doing one game at a time we're facing the jets who suck <laughs> they're bad but they can sneak up on you at any point we're facing bad teams right if we would have took care of business if Tua would have slid we would be in a completely different situation right now because we would have won three extra games so instead of sitting there at five and seven we'd be sitting there at eight and four and that's a whole different world sitting there at eight and four i don't even want to go back into the predictor to change those to see you how things could be i'm gonna do it I'm going to do it. I'm going to torture you guys just like I torture myself mentally all the time. Look what would have happened. I can't. Thank God. <sighs> Protecting me from my own mental anguish. We would. It would have been different. It would have been completely different. We'd be 8-4. and four. We'd probably be the number 5 seed. Probably the number 5 seed. But we didn't. So let's just have some fun right now. So, obviously, Miami Dolphins, you need to beat the New York Jets. If you don't beat the New York Jets, you're doo-doo. You deserve nothing but the worst. Go look at my video Monday where I talk about firing Chris Greer. I think they win. I think they win. I think they win. I think they win. I think they win because Jameis Winston loves to throw interceptions. I think they win. This is going to be an interesting one, obviously. 
Uh, Trevor Lawrence isn't going to be playing, so I'm going to go with them. Uh, this is also going to be an interesting one, but home, I'm going to go with them. I thought at first this was interesting. It's not anymore. They're going to win that one. Uh, I think Chicago wins this one. San Fran is beat to hell. They win, and I'm going to go with they win. <clears throat> so after that week, nothing changed at all. But it does help if the teams ahead of us lose. But fun fact, this would help, obviously, right here. Bada bing, bada boom, this would help. But the Ravens and the Broncos are on a bye, and so are the Colts. So this week is more about winning. Just win and then hope that the Chiefs continue to have that luck shoved so far up their butt. Then it's a good week. Then we go into the following week. Got to win. You got to win them all. That's the moral of the story. Win every single game. Also, you have to have the – if the Dolphins have the same record at the end of the year as the Broncos, they have the tiebreaker because of conference if they win out. Um, I think the Rams take this one. I, I think that the 49ers are down bad. I go Dallas here, but don't be surprised that one. Go all bit of bing, ba, boom here. Uh, I go Jets. I think the Jets will beat the Jaguars. I think the Jaguars are down bad. Boom, boom, uh, boom, boom. This is the interesting one. Uh, I think this is the. I think they'll win this one. This also is a very interesting one. We'll get to that in a second. Um, this don't matter. Why am I taking so hard? Boom, 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 and boom. Okay. So to the interesting ones, and then again, we will get to percentages after I kind of do the gambit and run the gambit. We want the Broncos to win. What, Doug? Why do we want the Broncos to win? Because we want the Colts to get out of our butts. We want the Broncos to win. You'll see the next two games. Trust me on this. We want the Broncos to win. Obviously, we want Tampa to beat the Chargers, right? You picking up where I'm putting down? Because look at that. We go up ahead of them. That's beauteous. Also, because if you look at the Colts' rest of schedule, it's a cakewalk. Go to week 16. This is where things get interesting. Chargers, we want them to win. Why? Because I said so. <laughs> I don't care. Um, if this happens, that could benefit us. Let's go with that. <laughs> Let's see how that pans out, right? I don't have the Ravens here. Did I have the Ravens here? Um, I did have the Ravens here. Where? I think they're playing the Giants, which I don't think. Yeah, they're not going to lose that one, so just ignore that. Uh, boom, 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 boom. See, they'll win this one, but don't be surprised if a little scoo to doo happens there. Uh, I think they win this one. Uh, I think they win this one. Boom. Uh, I don't know if he's back, so I'll go with this one. And then the Dolphins obviously have to win out. I'm going to say for an umpteenth time, the Dolphins have to win out. So, after this week of picks going the way I think they should or to help the Dolphins, you look at it, and we're only one game, one game out of the all of these wild cards. Stick with me. Again, I'm jumping through hoops here. I'm trying to make things happen that probably won't. I understand. I get it, right? Go to this one. I think they win this one. This will be big. This will be very big. Let's say the Texans win. Let's just say. Let's say there's a complete collapse of Baltimore. There won't be. I understand. Just stick along, stick around, stick around for the ride. Trust me. Actually, let's say that the Bengals win this one. The Bengals are still a good team, even though they kind of choke, but they put up a lot of points. So let's say the Bengals win this one, right? This one don't matter. I'm going to go with Seattle. Uh, I'll go Arizona. Obviously, they're going to win this one. Again, that's why the Chargers being the Chargers, that's something you want. Just keep them out of your mind because they have a very cakewalk schedule. Same thing with the Colts. Hence, we wanting the Broncos to beat the Colts. They have a cakewalk of a schedule. Bing, bang, boom. I don't. Maybe he comes back. Who cares? Uh, we go with this one. That don't matter to me. Sure, sure, sure. Detroit Dolphins need to win. Look at that. Would you look at that now? Do I think it's going to happen? No. Do I think all of this is going to happen? No. But it is a very real possibility that if some teams start to fall flat on their face, the Dolphins can get the number six seed. And then we have the final week of the season, resting starters, right? They'll probably rest their starters. They'll win. Uh, they'll be fighting. They'll win. They'll probably be resting. Their, well, actually, let me wait on that. 
Uh, they'll be resting their starters. Let's say they win. Let's say they win because they'll definitely be resting their starters and probably already clinch the number one seed. They'll win because they'll be resting their starters, or maybe not because that can also dictate what happens here. But let's just stick with that. This, uh, this, this will be a competitive one. I have it going this way. Obviously, I think they'll be resting their starters, so I'll go with this. Uh, they'll go here. They might have already locked it up. Yeah, so they might be resting their starters. Let's go with this one. Resting starters. Uh, resting starters. They probably already clinched the division. Yeah, they clinched the division. Resting starters here and here, right? Dolphins have to win. So maybe they do play them. See, that's where it comes in, you know? You know what I'm saying? But the biggest thing here is they'd have to win, so they're not going to rest their starters. Possibility, possibility. Again, stop yelling at me in the comment section that it's not gonna happen. I know. Let's go back and let's be realistic. You wanna be realistic? We'll have some fun. Let's be realistic, okay? And then I'll go to percentages. So looking here, this is all realistic, to be honest with you. All of this is realistic. This is where I started to get a little fancy. This is where I started to throw a little things out there, hoping and praying, right? This is an unrealistic. This is an unrealistic. If I'm being honest with you, I think Tampa could beat the Chargers. I don't think that's unrealistic being that the Chargers barely beat the Falcons. So I don't think that's unrealistic. So I don't think anything I put this week is unrealistic. This is kind of where I started going unrealistic because Baltimore will probably beat this one. They'll win the division. You got the Steelers here. Uh, this, If this goes this way, that's a real possibility. But I'm going to stick with the Chargers because I do like the way the Chargers are playing. I think that happens. Um, again, this is a situation where the Dolphins went out, so they have to win every game. Uh, but, okay, I think this is where I started going unrealistic because I think Baltimore beats the Houston Texans. Um, this isn't unrealistic, if I'm being 100% honest with you. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. That's not that unrealistic. And then here... Did I make one that was unrealistic? Because why is this seeming so like it could happen? Because this isn't unrealistic for them to lose to the Ra the the Bengals and for them to lose to the Chargers. You see what I'm saying here? I I don't know what I did. I'm not trying to give you false hope. I swear. Um, because they I think they'll rest their starters. They'll win this one. I think they'll win this one. I think they'll win this one. And the Dolphins have to win out. So it's a very real possibility that the Dolphins can get the sixth seed. If you see any unrealistic ones, <laughs> let me know. Like if this happens, um, again, the Dolphins have to win out. So I'm not changing the Dolphins. That's literally what needs to happen. Did I have the Steelers lose? Oh, this they. I think they'll lose this one. I'm trying to be realistic here. Like that, right? Then the Dolphins don't make it if these teams become 11 and 6. But at 10 and 7, if all of these teams become 10 and 7, it's a real possibility of the Dolphins making the playoffs. Now, obviously, draft order, we'd be picking in the teens. Um, and then let me go back and say we lose them all. Because, so again, we have to, uh, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. We cannot lose a game. You lose a game, your season's done, you're not making the playoffs. Because I showed you what would have to happen for us to get anywhere. Um, and we're picking eight, right? You lose them all, screw it, whatever. We got five wins, you pick eight. That's that. So let's go over here to percentages. Thank you for sticking along to this part of the video. Appreciate you not clicking off. Appreciate you understanding this is all for fun and just showing you possibilities. Uh, chosen scenario. I don't care. So you see here, if the Browns were to won, the Dolphins' playoff chances were 21. If they lost, they were 13. Obviously, the Broncos won. It dropped our playoff chances to 14%. So you come here, Dolphins have to win. Bumps it back up to about 19%. Um, if the Browns beat the Steelers, that would bump it back up, but I don't think that happens, so the Steelers will beat the Browns. And if the Chiefs beat the Chargers, that'll bump it back up as well. So again... Um, this is a situation where we would go back up. We have to win. Our percentages would go back up here. 
So if the Giants beat the Ravens, that would put it up. I don't think that'll happen. Dolphins, obviously. Ooh. I'm just clicking things. Ah, it's freaking out. Obviously, the Dolphins need to beat the um, Jet Texans. No ifs, ands, or buts. What helps here, surprisingly, is they say Colts beating the Broncos. But me personally, I showed you the Broncos. So let's go with them. Let's say the Colts win and the Buccaneers beat the Chargers, which is a very real possibility. Come here, Dolphins need to win. Then they have the Titans beating the Colts. And they have, see, but then you have to rely on that garbage. And then they don't really even show the Broncos anymore. Like barely. See how it's like barely a thing? It's barely colored in and this is more important. I think the Chargers would win that one. <clears throat> but I'm going to go Broncos here. I'm just going to change it up because that's what I think is a better option. Um, and then obviously the Ravens being the, the Steelers beating the Ravens would help. And I showed you guys percentage wise. But I think that the Ravens would beat the Steelers, and I think the Colts would beat the Titans. So, again, we're sitting around 40-something percent. We come here. Broncos, Dolphins beating the Browns shoots us up to about 60%. And you could see here, what helps the Dolphins is if the Giants beat the Colts, not going to happen. If the Patriots beat the Chargers, not going to happen. And if the Bengals beat the Broncos, look how high up our percentage shoots possibility then we come to the last game where it's winning you're in it doesn't matter anything else winning you're in so all, overall we gave you all the stats all the statistics overall the way the dolphins make the playoffs is you have to win out you cannot lose another game going through the rest of the season you have to get to 10 wins and you have a very high possibility of making the playoffs let me even go back and picking the way I think it really should go or more likely, right? This is likely, this is likely. Um, Ravens beating them. Dolphins, we need to, let's say the Chargers win this one. It even shoots up to nine, 99%. Let's say the Colts kind of goes down a little bit. Then we need to start hoping for other things to happen, like the Jaguars beating the Colts. Say they don't. Say they don't. Um, the Browns beating the Ravens. Say they don't. Bengals being the Steelers, it's a possibility. Say they don't. Um, oh, then it comes down to this game, which I think they they would win. So are we not in? Oh, then it comes down to this game. I think the Chiefs win. So there you go. Right? Like these are realistic. I'm trying to give you realistic r scenarios. So you're not like, oh, that's never going to happen. That can't happen. Chargers being the Broncos is a possibility. Chiefs, Texans, Ravens, Steelers, Colts over the Titans, of course. Ravens, Texans, Bengals over the Colts. It's a possibility. If it goes the other way, we're still in. We're still in. It doesn't matter. Um, Chargers, da, da, da. Texans over the Titans, yes. Colts over the Jaguars, yes. Steelers, Ravens, Dolphins. Again, we have to win every game. We have to win. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. And if you come back to the Broncos, this one, it doesn't matter. Overall, you got to win out. Just focus on your games. We'll look at the other games and see if teams start falling apart. But overall, they, they have to play each other. They have difficult schedules. The Dolphins have an easy schedule. Win. Beat the Jets. Beat the Texans. The Texans is the next big um, opponent, right? It was the Packers. We failed. Now it's the Texans. Don't look past the Jets, but the Jets aren't good. They're falling apart. You got the Texans. They're banged up. We're possibly getting Bradley Chubb back. I go watch yesterday's video. You beat the Texans. You're home for the 49ers who won't have either running back, won't have their defensive tackle, are banged up. You beat them. Then again, it's the narrative of cold weather. You're going to Cleveland. You're facing Jameis Winston who loves throwing interceptions. You get to 10-7. and seven. You have a very real possibility of making the playoffs. And if you do well enough and other teams fall apart well enough, you don't have to face the Bills. Maybe you have a chance of winning. I don't think so. I don't think the Dolphins will go 10-7. and seven. I think they'll probably lose to the Texans. They'll lose to one team, maybe go 9-10, nine and se nine and 10, sorry, 9-8, and eight, and I don't think they make the playoffs. That's me personally. Comment below. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you appreciate this. I will do it again after next week's game, give you an update of where we sit. But like usual, stay classy. FN's up.